this is about net ionic equations page 12 in your packet um, <coughs> net ionic equations uh, tells us exactly which ions are involved in the reaction so this is something similar to if you take the basketball team there are 11 players in the basketball team but only five players are playing at a time right so other six players are sitting it's, uh, it doesn't mean the team but only five players are playing at the uh, at one time uh, so we can see from a net ionic equation uh, exactly which ions are doing the reaction there will be other ions we call them spectator ions which are just floating around so net ionic equation uh, is helping us to um, identify uh, all right so uh, how do you do the net ionic equation uh, first with a balanced equation uh, and um, if a salt is soluble we write it at ionic, uh, ionic form which means you really have to know the solubility rules for this okay let me turn to the solubility rules it's right here on page uh, 14 now uh, these rules uh, may be given to you at this time but uh, eventually you will have to remember them and these are the rules they are not difficult to remember all compounds that contain group 1 elements alkali metals are soluble so if you have any alkali metal compound like for example lithium hydroxide uh, sodium chloride anything with alkali metal they are soluble so we have to write them as aqueous okay and also ammonium all ammonium salts are soluble all nitrates are soluble all acetate acetates are soluble so there are these are the things all soluble alkali metal salts ammonium salts nitrates are soluble so you can uh, just assign a q for uh, those um, substances those uh, substances right and then um, halogens if you take the halogens uh, fluoride chloride bromide iodides uh, all soluble there are exceptions the exceptions are uh, silver mercurous and lead uh, silver mercurous and lead for example agcl is a solid it's a precipitate so we have to take it as a solid um, i will tell you why we have to assign the state of matter here so that we can uh, write down the net ionic equation so here actually uh, the easy way to remember is uh, alkali metals ammonium uh, nitrate and uh, oh, oh a, a, um, alkali metals um, acetates uh, ammonium and nitrates on is all soluble okay and uh, silver mercury lead is for halogens insoluble which means they are solids uh, and then uh, if you take sulfate uh, sulfates all sulfates are soluble except barium strontium and lead barium strontium and lead and every other compound is taken as insoluble so in insoluble compounds will be all um, uh, carbonates phosphates uh, oxalates um, chromates sulfites hydroxide except uh, alkali metals all these exceptions are alkali metals okay and oxides are all insoluble so let's go back to the net ionic equation uh, if we identify a salt as soluble we write it as aq uh, if it is insoluble we put it as uh, solid uh, how do you know you refer to the solubility rules okay and um, when elements are not soluble and uh, they, are, they have charge of zero means you don't split into ions i will show you what uh, how to do this uh, all oxides and gases are written in molecular form strong acids and bases are written in ionic forms so here it is important for you to remember the strong acids and strong bases so uh, i think we went over the strong acids there are only seven strong acids um, hydrochloric acid hydromic acid hydroiodic acid are strong and then sulfuric acid nitric uh, perchloric acid and chloric acid they are strong acids and uh, strong bases 
Alkali metal bases and alkaline earth, uh, calcium, strontium, barium bases are strong. Okay, right, ah, right here. Hydroxides from group one and two are strong. Uh, so sodium hydroxide, lithium hydroxide, these are the strong ones. Why are we uh, worried about the strong uh, acids and bases? We can put them as a AQ, aqueous and split them into ions. So how do we do the net ionic equation? Uh, if you take this sodium phosphate and calcium the uh, equation, complete equation, uh, please write down the ion, ions uh, uh, at the top here so that you will write the formula correctly. Uh, so sodium phosphate, calcium nitrate giving sodium, this is a double replacement reaction you can see, uh, sodium goes with nitrate and calcium goes with phosphate and according to solubility rules we can assign the state of matter, uh, all alkali metal salts are soluble so it is aqueous, all nitrates are soluble so this is aqueous, all alkali metals and this is nitrate so this is a double aqueous, here is a phosphate all phosphates except alkali metal phosphates are an ammonium phosphate uh, are uh, insoluble Me calcium phosphate is a solid means it will separate out as precipitate in a, a reaction so and then we have to balance the equation okay uh, after we balance we split them into ions the aqueous ones we split them into ions so here three times two six sodium ions and two phosphate ions plus three calcium ions and three times two six nitrate ions and then here it is a aqueous so we can split it into ions six sodium ions and six nitrate ions now when it comes to the solid we cannot split into ions so we leave it as it is and then we look at the ions in both sides and if you have the same ions we, we cancel them out they are the spectators like the people who sit at the bench okay uh, so six sodium is a spectator and six nitrates is a spectator so we uh, cross them out and write down the balance three calcium two plus and two phosphate three minus giving calcium phosphate is your net ionic equation and uh, if you take this one zinc zinc when it says zinc we know it is a metal so it is taken as the solid it is understood uh, uh, that it's a solid and hydrochloric acid now we take it as aqueous because hydrochloric acid is a strong acid that is why we need to know the strong acids and bases and then metal with the acid always gives off uh, hydrogen gas uh, and then salt is formed so hydrogen gas zinc chloride is formed and we know halides all halides are soluble except uh, silver mercurous and lead so this is zinc chloride so we take it as aqueous um, and then hydrogen is a gas gas means they don't form ions uh, so solids we keep it as it is this is your ionic equation ionic equation keep it uh, solids keep it as it is here aqueous 2H plus plus 2Cl minus giving H2 plus here it's a aqueous so zinc 2 plus plus 2Cl minus and if you look at both sides you can see 2Cl minus is a spectator so you cross it out and write down what is left zinc plus 2H plus uh, giving H2 plus zinc 2 plus is your net ionic equation alright hope this helps